If you want deets on where the car is at, better have something juicy for me. Like Jimmy Siska and pop star Nelly Shire? They are banging. I knew it. See, okay, now we're talking. Consider it sent. <laughs> Hella cool. Coolosity. All right, I sent you the GPS of the car's route. Second thought. I'm authorizing myself, motherfucker. Wrench, you hear this? The car's talking.
Your face is too dark for my sensors to read. What? Bitch, I'm black and I'm proud. Tell your sensors to calibrate that. I have no reference for black. No, of course you don't. Your hands and feet inside the tornado at all times. Hang on to your innards, Devon. Together, we will carve up the streets. Wait, did you just say a line from the movie? Wrench, you hearing this? I am one nitrous jacked smart car. Aw, oh, man, this car, this car is something else. Yeah, well, kudos to Galilee for getting the studio to pay for this lemon. Lemon? Did you hear it? And never mind voice recognition. I mean, sure, it needs a smack upside of scripting, but it had cogent responses. Do you know how much work had to go into that? Uh, Galilei has been talking about machine learning for their Mars probe, but man, I didn't expect it to be as advanced as it... What? Oh, man. I know it. <laughs> I do not approve of you driving me, Marcus. You're not as swarthy as Devin Von Devon. I knew it had too much smart ass to be smart. Wow. Shiny and new. So it wasn't responding at all? Well, does, um... Does, does that count? Yeah, fuck you, man. Fuck you. <laughs> the car's designed for autonomous control, but nothing's there or even calibrated. It's capable, but suboptimal. Not junk. See? That's what I'm talking about. Think positive. It's just stupid. So that's the plan? Fix a smart car the space company couldn't? Problem? No, we got this. Hmm. Well, wait. Did, did you just say the car quoted the movie? Yeah! <laughs>